Hey everybody, it's Margo, and today I'm going to go over with you the fastest way to obtain artifact power for your fishing pole. Now, the fishing pole has different artifact power than the rest of the items that require artifact power. In the sense that the artifact power for your fishing pole is obtained by catching the rare fish that you catch to get the fishing pole. <laughs> so there's an achievement to unlock the fishing pole. It's the uh, rare fishing achievement. Bigger fish to fry. You gotta catch one of every fish in Legion that is rare. Now, after you've completed it and after you've unlocked your fishing pole, um, you go back and catch those same fish that you originally caught and each one will give you 50 artifact power. To unlock your artifact talent tree completely for the fishing pole, you'll end up having to get 276,000 artifact power. It, it, it ends up being almost 5,500, um, around 5,500 rare fish you have to obtain. So 5,500 rare fish. It's a lot of fishing. Now, it's not that simple either because rare fish are only caught when you have specific items like this bait right here, a rusty queenfish brooch. Now, the fastest way that I have found to obtain artifact power is this one right here, the Rusty Queenfish Brooch. Now, the reason being is because when you fish from this pool, it spawns, you have a 100% chance to get a rare fish. If I were to equip this one, and let's just go ahead and do it, and throw myself out in the open water, you know, I'm not going to always catch me a rare fish. So you'll see right here. Okay. See, I didn't get a rare fish. I could have gotten a rare fish, but I didn't. Now, when you fish inside of pools, and let me find a pool, it would be nice if if my ability was working and I could teleport to a pool real close. But when you fish in a pool, you do have a higher success chance of getting rare fish, right? Like, you'll have a better chance each cast. And the artifact itself has an ability, which hopefully it'll proc here. Okay, we didn't proc on the first cast. Every cast you do, it has a chance to make the pool explode. And I don't know which talent that's unlocked on. I have no idea because, again, it hasn't updated yet. But we'll go over all these artifact talents when they update. I think I've unlocked all the important ones. Oh my gosh, it's not going to explode for me. <laughs> the one time it, I need it to happen, it doesn't want to do it. Uh... This must be the effect of this way of the... It says way of the flounder. This must be this thing because I just unlocked this rank and uh, I didn't know what it does. And it says it reduces enemy detection by five yards. Okay, let me move to another pool. I know there was one right over here. I want to show you the exploding barrel effect. And I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's unlocked immediately as you get the artifact or if it's more a um a talent because we, i don't i can't read the talents and it doesn't say it as the passive effect so i can't imagine it's the passive it's got to be one of the talents and i just don't know which one. Oh my gosh the pools in this zone are so scattered but i wanted to show you the um uh, the exploding barrel i needed to just do a find a pool so it'll explode I know there's at least one more pool. I think they changed this. Okay, that you can see most of the artifact powers um, by looking at the data mine artifact weapon, but it doesn't have everything accurate, right? That's why I say I can't go specifically by what it says because this is supposed to be an ability that increases my damage to fish, fish monsters of any kind. So. It's not doing that, right? I smacked a monster and I did the same amount of damage that I initially did than um, when I took that talent. So I didn't, I didn't, I found out that it wasn't that. And there you go. I finally got it to explode. And you see, when I loot this, it'll give me as if I cast about five times. It's four to five times the barrels. So using bait and those pools may be a faster means when the ability is working. And of course, I'll test it all. But for the time being, and with all knowledge that we currently know, 
the fastest way you will upgrade your artifact weapon, not weapon, but artifact fishing pole, will be by fishing in this uh, queen fish pool. Now, to do so, after you've gotten your artifact and everything's set up and you want to start power leveling your artifact, you're going to come to here and you're going to fish until you pick yourself up. Well, the first thing you want to do, excuse me, the first thing you want to do is go pick yourself up a bunch of these, you know, as many as you can possibly hold. In perfect case scenario, like 100% perfect lucky, you didn't have anything go wrong and you were just constantly fishing and everything was on your side. Perfect case scenario, you will need 200 of these, 200 arcane lures. So you'll have to go to Conjurer Margross, which is the guy where you, the fishing rep guy, right outside of Dalaran up here. Because you remember we were there fishing for the fishing mount with him. Perfect case scenario, you're going to have to go pick up 200 mana and get yourself 200 arcane lures. Because the, it lasts 10 minutes, and like I'm saying, with perfect case scenario, you'd need at least 200. So, after you got those, you come here, you know, fish, you can slap one of them on, fish until you get yourself the queen fish brooch, and then you can start power leveling the artifact. So when you fish inside of a pool, you have a better chance to obtain lures. When you're fishing in fish pools instead of fishing in open the water, you have a better chance to obtain lures. When you use the queen fish brooch, it spawns a pool, specifically right here. And you don't need water walking, there's a little thing you can stand on and you can fish right into it. Now, you would pop on the queen fish brooch, you'd add your arcane lure, and then you can start fishing in it. And you'll see when I catch one, I'm going to get um, one fish every single time. Guaranteed fish, right? It's guaranteed. So I'm not, I'm not going out and hoping RNGs on my side and I get a fish every cast in a different type of pool. When I fish in these ghostly queen fish, they will give me 100% ghostly queen fish. And the second thing that makes them really good is this pool will never despawn. It never moves. It stays right there. No matter how many times I've cast into it, the pools never move. So you don't have to worry about running out of ghostly queenfish or ever really moving for that matter. You can constantly just... And since it is a pool, you have that higher chance to obtain another lure. So by the time your first lure runs out, there's a pretty high likelihood you'll pick yourself up another rusty queenfish brooch. Which is what I'm saying when I was talking about perfect case scenario, right? I've gone the entire bait without getting another queenfish brooch, and then I had to spend like an hour to pick another one up. So, I mean, it's it's 100% luck, right? You need RNG a little bit to be there, and that's why you're using the arcane lure, because it increases your bait chance by 100%. So not only are you fishing in the pool and have a higher chance, you also have the arcane lure doubling that chance even more. Thus, you now have a good chance at obtaining another queenfish brooch by the time you, you know, finish the first one. And uh, the scrog toenail. Now, the baits are tradable. So this is actually sellable on the auction house, everything. And I can see you, sell, you making money really early game by selling your baits that you don't want. Because, you know, people are going to want to get the artifact really fast. So the more bait they can buy off the auction house, the quicker they're going to get it. But... If you don't want to go to the effort of mailboxing every single time, then um, they are unique, and I'm disconnecting. <laughs> they are unique, so I would recommend deleting it, because it'll attract a murloc and cause you problems. It's going to interrupt your fishing. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to keep it or not. I mean, that's it's a, it's a personal thing, and if you want to make more money, I would recommend, you know, mailing it off, right? And, you know, selling it so you get money. But if not, then uh, just delete them every time or vendor them really fast. But vendoring also would stop you from possibly getting one extra cast on your bait. So for 100% efficiency, you just delete them. Because it sucks when you don't pick up another queenfish brooch in the time of your bait. It sucks because you may get unlucky and not get another one for ages. So anyways... That's the fastest way to do it. Every single one of these fish will give me 50 artifact power. But in perfect case scenario, I'll have to catch 5,500 of these just to max out my artifact. 
and I, I haven't had perfect case scenario, I'll tell you that much right now, because this right here, I still have three points there I need, and two points there. I'm only a third of the way done with this, so to get those final, you know, final six points, or five points, excuse me, those final five points, would take me two thirds of the time. My recommendation when you're trying to fill up these trees, after we see exactly what the, what's in them, um, I would go for the things that are most important. So if it's not important to get this right here, don't waste a point in it. That's a huge amount of time spent when you could have just went for this great talent up here, whatever it was. Um, yeah, you're looking at like, it took me probably 15 to 20 hours to get this many points and I'm only a third of the way done so even in perfect case scenario it, it's just almost impossible to get perfect case scenario <laughs> and you're gonna look at like I'm not even joking probably 50 plus hours before you actually fill up your artifact tree yeah that's a lot of fishing anyways thank you all for watching I hope this was explanatory and helpful and I will see you again soon bye bye